Yeah, it was a great start. I think from for the first 30, it was probably some of our best rugby we've played this year and you know, in the last couple of years. Um, the thing that stood out for us, I think, around our own half, we kind of overplayed when we were chasing it. I think when we got 10, I think 10 points down, um, we started to play too much within our own 22, strike 40. And that led to a few errors and then they capitalised. Um, and then you give the possession up that close to your line with such big ball carrying runners from Exeter, it was uh, really hard to, to stop once they got the wind up the, the backside. So, yeah, I think a little bit of game management, a little bit of understanding where we needed to play our rugby um, would have helped us. And yeah, I think we've definitely learned a lesson from that. Well, I think we're, we're developing the way we train at the moment to be a bit more hybrid rather than just one or the other. I don't think we can isolate the game, you know, transitions from both very, very quickly. So we're trying to, be, trying to develop uh, the way we play, the back identity around if we turn the ball over, then we're into defence, we want to win it back as soon as possible. And the same with an attack, that when we're attacking, that we don't give it up and we, you know, we take points. So um, for us at the moment, training's been quite both ways, def defend and attack in both sides of the ball and, and I think we've seen you've seen the you know the fruits of labour out of in the last three to four weeks. So yeah, it's, been, it's, it's a focus on both sides, not just one or the other. As, well, it's, it's been good actually. I think we've taken the positives from the way we attacked in the first 30, 40 minutes against Exeter. You know, we, I thought we brought a lot of variation. So. First and foremost, we've got to win our set piece. We've got to go forward, and from there, I think we can start bringing variation. You know, when you've got, you know, people like McNally coming onto the ball and Elliot Stook, you know, they're they're going through some big holes, getting some momentum, and then we just allowed our back three to get hold of the ball. You know, some of the best performances in our back three players this weekend. So for us, it was let's let's go forward first. Let's do our basics right, and then from there, we can bring variation in our attack and and, and really have a go. Oh, he works incredibly hard. Do you know, he's he's one of the last players off the pitch. Um, you can see he's. Put, I think he's really gone deep into his process rather than just the outcome. You know, you, I think he'll always admit that as a youngster, you probably look at just at whether the ball goes over the posts. But now he's. You can tell he's detailing what he does. It's very simple, and uh, he totally deserves it. He's out here all the time, and I think he's a. Uh, you know, he's he's, he's definitely someone some of the youngsters should look up to.